Hello, dearies and dudes. My name is Snyderman, and welcome to the Coffee Corner with Snyderman. Uh, this is going to be a new weekly series that I do every Monday. I'm going to come out with a Coffee Corner video, and really, I wanted to do this because I feel like I don't really get a chance to just sit and chat. No gaming, no history lesson, no nothing. I don't get a chance to just sit and chat with you and just have a talk. And I think that that is really important for this channel. It's important for uh, you and I to just kind of have a sit down and be able to connect. So that's kind of what I wanted to do uh, with this with this series is just have the opportunity to talk with you all because you have been incredibly, incredibly supportive over the last five months that this channel's been been around and it's been great, but I haven't really had that opportunity to just one, say thank you, and two, just really connect with with you all. Um and that's kind of what I want this channel to be. I want this to be more of a connection than anything else. I don't want it to be uh just another person on YouTube putting out videos. I want us to to have a connection, have a community and be able to kind of hang out as friends. We, we've we done a pretty good job of that so far. I've met some incredible people in these five months, uh, a few that I would even consider to be be friends. Um, so that's been that's been amazing. And I think we we can continue that. And I need to implement more stuff like this. So that's the reason for the coffee corner is I want to be able to have that connection with you. Uh, now, as for the name, <laughs> if you are one of my students, you already know this, but very rarely am I without coffee. If I'm without coffee, it's a bad day, usually. <laughs> um, so coffee is something that I I wouldn't can <laughs> I wouldn't say that I'm passionate about coffee because that's just weird. Um, but it's something that is definitely connected to to my identity for for those that know me at least in a teaching capacity um so it made sense just call it the coffee corner um and it made sense in the sense that a coffee shop or a coffee corner um is a place where people can just hang out chat uh relax with a cup of coffee and just talk with friends and that is kind of what the goal is here uh, so we're going to do that. Now that the formalities are out of the way, uh, let's just go ahead and start talking. Uh, I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Um, I myself had a pretty nice laid back couple days. It was it was good. It was good to just kind of sit down and and not really do a whole lot. I got to relax. Uh, Shauna and I, since we weren't able to go to my parents' house, um, made a really nice Thanksgiving feast. Uh we enjoyed that. We we just kind of hung out. I got some grading done. So for those of you students that are watching, I've been thinking about you this break. I'll see you tomorrow in class. Be there. I'll be there. Um, but yeah, so it's been it's been a good laid back couple days. Got some grading done. Like I said, got to hang out with Shauna. Um, got way far ahead on on videos. Oh my gosh, more on that in a second. But. I got way far ahead on videos, so I got a nice little backlog right now. Um, but yeah, it's been a good couple days. Interesting couple days. We learned uh, on, I think it was Wednesday, that Killian had gotten exposed to COVID. So that was great. I mean, it was a good thing that we canceled our Thanksgiving plans already, but Killian, my five-year-old stepson, is on quarantine uh, for a little while because he got exposed. I'm not going to say by who, just because there, there could potentially be some legal stuff that goes into it. And I, I, I don't know. I don't know if it's going to yet. We'll see. Um, but I don't want to go into that too much just in case things happen with that. Um, but long story short, he got exposed. Um, so he's on quarantine, but Shauna me and Killian all went and got tested. Lucky for us, we got our test results back on Saturday. Everybody's negative. Everybody's fine. Uh, so whew, we dodged a bullet there. But it's it's been 
really interesting um, this year, especially teaching in this environment. Um, I've been teaching for 10 years, and this is by far the most difficult year I have ever had. I would, I would do my first year of teaching over again compared to this year. This year has been awful. Um, not awful in the student sense, but just with everything being what it is, it, it hasn't been that great. Um, and there's been a lot of times where, where I've felt like a failure in terms of, of teaching. I felt like I haven't been doing my best job just because I'm trying to teach kids in the building. I'm trying to teach kids online at home. I'm trying to do all this other stuff. Um, luckily my students are, are awesome. Um, I got a few really, really nice letters right before Thanksgiving break about, about how much they're, they're thankful for me. Um, maybe I'll read some of those, uh, next week. We'll see. Uh, I might get their permission before I do that, but, um, yeah, we got a few, I got a few nice letters and the kids have been great. They've, they've really reminded me more than once so far this year that, that even though I'm feeling like I'm not doing a good job, even though this, this year has been incredibly stressful, incredibly hard, they've reminded me why I do this. And that is just absolutely incredible. It's fantastic. I love my students to death. I hope they know that. Um, I know that some of them do. Maybe I don't show it as much as I could. I'm not one of those guys that wears my emotions on my sleeve too much. Um, but, but yeah, I love all my students and it's been, it's been a tough year, but a great year at the same time. And a lot of that has to do with, with them and who they are as people. So that's been, that's been really great. Um, so yeah, interesting week. Had to get tested for COVID and that come came back negative. Uh, yeah, just really weird, really weird, really tough, but fun year. Um, yeah, yeah. And I think that's kind of the whole point of this is even though this year is tough, just remaining positive and kind of seeing that, seeing that silver lining and stuff where we, we are all healthy. That's the big thing is that we're healthy. Um, we're happy. Hopefully you're in the same position. If not, uh, no, I'm thinking of you and, and yeah, things just are, are very weird right now and hopefully they will be back to normal soon. Um, but yeah, let's get into, into more channel-based stuff, stuff that you might be interested in. Um, so with this channel, first of all, as of this recording, we are at 97 subscribers, which if you would have told me in five months, I would have 97 people subscribe to my channel, I would have thought you were nuts. <laughs> like there is no way that I would have thought that I would be this close to a hundred this soon. And the fact that, that we are about to break my first goal, my goal, um, after the ball got rolling on this channel, I was like, yeah, I, I could maybe get to 100 by Christmas. Maybe. Um, that was kind of the dream. And the fact that that is very close to being a reality is just phew, totally insane. And that's all thanks to you. Um, I would absolutely love it if we got to 100 by Christmas. That would just, that would make the perfect holiday. Um, but that's where you all come in. Share the channel with everybody. Let's get this community to boom, absolutely explode and, and go ahead and just grow and grow and grow. Uh, that would be so awesome. And I'm so happy that we are in the position that we're at currently. Um, 97 people. Wow. Holy cow. Um, <laughs> it's just, <laughs> it, it's, I can't even wrap my mind around it. Just, it's like, I got 97 people that are subscribed. Like, that's insane. Absolutely insane. Um, so that, that's kind of the short term is I, I'd love to, for us to get to that 100 mark by Christmas, put it behind us and continue to push forward together and have some, have some fun. In terms of the long term, um, I've always said when 
I started thinking about doing this a couple years ago. I was like, well, if you make a YouTube channel, like what, what is your ultimate goal? Like, are you going to leave teaching to do YouTube full time? And the answer has always been, and is still no, no, um, I'm not going to leave teaching because I love the kids. I love what I do. Um, I, I couldn't imagine <laughs> doing anything else on a daily basis. YouTube is something that I am doing for fun. I'm doing it because I enjoy it. Um, I get to play some games that I never would have played before, like Murdered, for example. It came out of left field. I never would have picked that up if it wasn't for this channel and for all of you. Um, so it, it's been pretty cool. Um, but YouTube is not something that I considered or that I'm considering to ever be full time. Like, I don't see that changing. Um, I will continue to make content. I will continue to put out videos. But in terms of this being like my main method of making money, I don't ever see that. Um, I don't ever foresee getting to Markiplier status or Jacksepticeye status. I don't, I don't see that. Now, if that happens, I will be ecstatic. Like that would be so amazing. Um, but I don't think that's the goal. The goal is just let's have fun. Let's play games. Let's be goofy. Let's be nerdy. Let's, let's be complete and utter dorks. And let's sit down with each other every Monday and just kind of bullshit <laughs> and just just talk. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of the long term goal is just continue to have fun. I don't I don't really care about this ever becoming becoming a big money making thing. I'm not going to say no to a a few extra dollars in my bank account. Thank you very much. But that's not, that's not what I'm here for. I'm here to have fun. And that's, that is what I want this to be. I want this to be fun. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where we're headed long-term is just, let's continue to have fun. Um, but now's the part you all been waiting for. We had a poll that closed yesterday. And as you can see from the poll, uh, you voted, and it's Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So look for Assassin's Creed Valhalla to start on the channel, not this week, but the following week, because I has to go buy me Valhalla and record some videos of that. Um, so Valhalla is going to be what we start with first, but as you can see from the polls, we didn't have too many, too many responses, but I still want to listen as best as I can, that was still, Valhalla still only got about a third of the vote. Um, so to make things a little bit more fair, we're still going to do Valhalla, but when Spyro 3 is finished, I'll jump into The Wolf Among Us, which is our second place, and then eventually um, we are going to get to these other two. I do want to feature Assassin's Creed 3, as well as Outlast on the channel. So um, all four of these games are going to be featured. You're all going to see the content that you voted for. Um, we'll just go Assassin's Creed Valhalla first, then we'll go with The Wolf Among Us after Spyro 3 is over, and then these other two uh, will come shortly thereafter. I just don't know exactly when. But speaking of Spyro 3, ho ho. Okay, I've been playing a lot of Spyro over the break. I have, I think, up to like 10 episodes now of Spyro 3 recorded, ready to go. So basically, Tuesday through Friday, maybe even Saturday, I don't know, this week, essentially, is going to just be Spyro 3 on the channel. That's going to be it. Um, maybe next week as well, but we'll see when I can get my hands on Valhalla how soon I can get that. Um, but yeah, Spyro 3 is going to start tomorrow and then roll by itself on this channel for at least a week, maybe two, uh, depending on how that all works out. But that's going to be where we're at uh, with with that. Spyro 3 is going to run and then, then Valhalla 
is going to start somewhere in the middle of that. Um, so those two series will kind of be going at once. Now, another thing that's coming up on the channel, probably next weekend, Saturday or Sunday, um, I am going to be releasing the newest Snyder Man Teaches. I know we didn't have one in November. Um, I usually try to release one a month, but things just happened. Um, I didn't get one for November, so we'll do one in December uh, fairly soon. Like I said, probably Saturday or Sunday this next week. Uh, and I'm going to do the Vikings in honor of Valhalla. So Snyder Man teaches the Vikings uh, is going to be our next history video that we do. Um, so look for that coming up in the very near future. But yeah, that that's about it. Um, life is good. The channel is good. Thank you all so much for all of your support uh, these five months. It's been great. And I look forward to having another five and another five after that and another five after that. I want to keep this going and I want to see this channel uh, just flourish into a amazing, amazing community where everybody can, can just come have fun, laugh, talk, and just really be a one big happy family. Um, but yeah, and look forward to some more Coffee Corner. We're going to start that. I'm looking forward to that. That's going to be a lot of fun. But with that, leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're not already. Leave me a comment down below. It lets me know what you're loving on the channel. And have a great day. We'll see you.